We know that our ancient ancestors made some truly remarkable things. What we don't know is how they created them. The secrets of ancient technology remain as much of a mystery to us as the innovations of the future. Somehow, the knowledge of how these things were once achieved has vanished over the centuries, leaving us trying to figure out how the things you're about to see in this video were ever made. These are the 15 most unbelievable ancient technologies that really exist. Number 15. Zugma Mosaics Normally, building something new over something old destroys whatever came before. But in rare cases, the newer layer unintentionally preserves what's beneath. That's what happened in the ancient city of Zugma, now part of Gaziantep province, Turkey. Thanks to that accidental protection, we're still able to see these stunning 2,200-year-old 2, mosaics today. Although archaeological work in the area began in 2007, the mosaics weren't brought to light until 2014. Alongside them, researchers have identified the ruins of more than 2,000 houses, but the mosaics remain the centerpiece. They confirm Zugma's historical significance as a thriving hub of trade and culture during the Eastern Roman Empire. What makes the preservation especially astonishing is the fact that this area was completely submerged underwater before the year 2000. While some mosaics will be relocated for safekeeping, plans are in motion to establish museums nearby. Even underwater for centuries, this art held on, and now it's finally being seen again. Number 14. Lova Mahapaya this is a deeply intriguing and ancient structure that often slips under the radar and remains largely overlooked by today's scholars and archaeologists. Nestled between Sri Mahabodhi and Ruan Welisaya in the historic city of Anuradhapura, Sri Lanka, it's locally known as the Brazen Palace. It's believed that its roof was once layered with bronze tiles, giving it a far more majestic appearance than what survives today. While the full backstory of the Brazen Palace remains unclear, most Sri Lankan historians agree it was likely built during King Dutugamunu's reign more than 2,100 years ago. At the time, it stood nine stories tall with 400-foot-long sides and was supported by 1,600 stone pillars. According to ancient texts, it wasn't just bronze. It was once embellished with coral and gemstones. King Dutugamunu claimed he received divine instructions for its design in a vision. Eventually, King Satatissa destroyed it for reasons that remain unknown. The remaining fragments are all that survived his destructive actions. Number 13. Mata in Sali The Nabataeans are best known for Petra, but they also built another remarkable site. Mata in Sali, once called al hijr in modern-day Alula, Saudi Arabia. This ancient trade city, filled with desert tombs, was meant to be the kingdom's second great urban center. Strategically located between Petra and Mecca, it was positioned to thrive. But plans changed when the Roman Empire absorbed the Nabataean territory in the year 106. The Romans shifted trade to Red Sea ports, causing Mata in Sali to fall into disuse and eventually be abandoned mid-construction. What remains today are over 130 tombs, a religious sanctuary called Diwan, and simple mud-brick homes in the center. The city's unfinished look gives it a strange, frozen quality, like time simply stopped. Though the architecture mirrors Petra's style, it rarely sees the same attention or visitors. Still, its scale and detail reveal the Nabataeans' ambition, craftsmanship, and the abrupt halt that history sometimes imposes on even the most promising civilizations. Number 12. Wooden Wagon You don't need a degree to realize that wooden artifacts rarely survive thousands of years. They're far more likely to rot, decay, or vanish entirely, especially compared to stone or metal. That's exactly why this wooden wagon, found near Lake Sivan, close to Lachashan village in Armenia, is such a staggering find. Nearly 4,000 years old, it ranks among the oldest and by far best preserved wagons ever uncovered from its time. 
Alongside it, archaeologists recovered around a dozen other two- and four-wheeled wagons in December 2017, though none remained as intact. Each one was built entirely from oak and would have originally featured a fabric lining inside the wheels. The most unexpected detail? The size. Some of the wagons were unusually small, leading researchers to believe they weren't pulled by horses or oxen, but by people. That kind of manual hauling would have been brutally demanding. Still, the engineering shows a level of precision that reveals just how sophisticated this Bronze Age society really was. Number 11. Lycian Rock Tombs The Lycian Rock Tombs in Fetai, Turkey are a dramatic sight, and their story is just as striking. Carved directly into a cliffside during the 4th century BCE, they were created with purpose and precision. The Lycian people believed that after death, winged beings would carry souls to the afterlife. But for that to happen, the dead needed to be placed high enough for these spiritual guardians to reach them. That's why these tombs sit halfway up a sheer rock face. Each one was carved with architectural flair, pillars, intricate facades, and designs that make them look more like temples than tombs. Despite centuries of weathering, many carvings still retain their distinct shapes. But once you step past the ornate entrances, the interiors are shockingly simple, just rectangular chambers with stone slabs for the deceased. For all their grandeur on the outside, the inside serves a single solemn purpose, holding the body until the soul takes flight. Number 10. Tassili and Adjur Cave Art You either accept the ancient astronaut theory or you don't. Some people are captivated by the idea that beings from space or from the future visited early civilizations. Others find it laughable. But if you lean toward the possibility, you're likely to point to things like the cave paintings at Tassili Naajer in Algeria's section of the Sahara. These drawings are impressively detailed, unquestionably old, and show humanoid figures wearing gear that resembles modern spacesuits, helmets, gloves, full body coverings. They date back at least 10,000 years, possibly even 15,000. Everything else on those cave walls, animals, rivers, mountains, and other weird things matches what locals would have seen at the time. But these figures don't fit. If these artists only drew what they experienced, where did those suit-clad beings come from? Whether you view them as proof of extraterrestrial contact or not, they're pretty mind-baffling. Number 9. Hamam Esalihin during the Roman era, a grand bathhouse was constructed in Kenchala province's El Hama town in Algeria. That same structure, over 2,000 years old, is still functioning today. Known as Hammam Esalihin, or the Bath of the Righteous, it attracts more than 700,000 visitors each year. Many locals firmly believe the water has healing properties, and that's a major reason for its continued popularity. Technically, the bathhouse isn't the same as it was when the Romans left it. It required extensive rebuilding after a major earthquake in the 14th century. However, the restoration followed the original design so closely that much of the ancient structure still stands. Modern additions like massage therapists and physical therapy services now surround the pool, but the way people use the space hasn't really changed. It's a rare blend of history and daily life proof that some Roman innovations were built not just to impress, but to endure. Number 8. Dazu Rock Carvings The Dazu Rock Carvings in Chongqing, China, are an extraordinary archaeological site preserving centuries of cultural and religious expression. But not everything carved into these rocks follows expected norms. One particularly strange figure stands out in the Shimenshan area, created during the Song Dynasty about a millennium ago. The majority of carvings there depict Buddhist or Taoist symbols like the famous Wheel of Life, but this specific figure looks different. It's a humanoid character with an unusual face, clutching a long, tube-shaped item. Some say it resembles an ancient telescope or even an old-style telephone handset. Appropriately, it's known as the Statue of Clairvoyance. 
Positioned beside the Jade Emperor, he represents someone who can both see and hear well beyond human limits, an ability referred to as clairaudience. His military-style clothing hints at a high rank. Maybe that object is symbolic, or maybe it meant something more literal. We still don't know what exactly it was meant to portray. Number 7. Hyde al Jazil. Hyde al Jazil looks like something straight out of a high-budget fantasy series. It could easily serve as a filming location for House of the Dragon, and it wouldn't need any special effects. But despite its cinematic appearance, life here is far from glamorous. Perched atop a rock in Yemen's remote Wadi Doan Valley, this tiny village had just 17 residents as of late 2022. Every house is built from mud bricks that disintegrate with rainfall and must be reconstructed yearly. As long as someone continues rebuilding them, they remain standing. Some have survived for over 500 years. These vertical homes are stacked floor by floor, with wooden platforms separating each level. A few even rise up to 11 stories tall, appearing dangerously unstable. When it's not raining, it's scorching hot. The surrounding mountains trap the heat and block airflow, making the climate even more brutal. Hyde al Jazil may one day vanish, but for now, it clings to existence with raw resilience. Number 6. Jian, Bronze Wine Cooler Thousands of years before mechanical refrigeration, the ancient Chinese had already mastered the art of chilling wine. Their tool of choice was the Jian, a bronze vessel dating back over 2,500 years. Though it might look like a simple bowl, its design was anything but. The Jian features a double-layered structure, one inner chamber for the wine, and an outer one where ice was packed. That thin layer of ice kept the inner contents cool, and it worked so effectively that similar coolers remained in regular use until the 17th century. The ingenuity behind the Jian meant wine could stay fresh for hours, ideal for banquets, ceremonies, or elite gatherings. The only downside? You needed a steady supply of ice, which wasn't always easy to come by. Still, the engineering was so advanced that no significant improvements were made for thousands of years. It's a testament to how seriously ancient Chinese society took both craftsmanship and their wine. Number 5. Westminster Abbey Door Westminster Abbey is easily one of the most recognized buildings in Britain, an impressive status for a structure that began as a modest Benedictine monastery in 960. Among its many historical features is something you wouldn't expect, the oldest surviving door in the entire United Kingdom. Legend claims it was once covered in human skin. While the abbey itself was heavily reconstructed during the reign of King Henry III in the 13th century, this door is believed to have survived from Edward the Confessor's 11th century renovations. It leads to the abbey cloisters and underwent scientific analysis in 2005. Researchers confirmed that all the wooden panels came from the same tree, felled around the year 1032. That makes it one of only two verified Anglo-Saxon doors still standing in the UK. The other resides at St. Botolph's Church in Hadstock, Essex. As for the skin rumors, there's no scientific proof, but the story is not clear. Number 4. Prague Astronomical Clock the Prague Astronomical Clock, also known as the Orloge, was installed in 1410 and remains one of Europe's most iconic medieval masterpieces. Its origins are still unclear, but legend attributes its creation to a man named Hanush. According to the tale, city officials feared he might build a similar clock elsewhere, so they had him blinded to protect its uniqueness. Whether the story is true or not, the clock itself is nothing short of remarkable. It shows both Old Czech time and Central European time, tracks celestial movements, and includes a zodiac ring that maps astrological positions. To add to the spectacle, a series of mechanical figures, often called robots by locals, emerge and perform brief sequences on the hour. Though other astronomical clocks exist across Europe, none match Prague's in complexity or design. 
It's not just a timepiece. It's a living artifact that continues to awe visitors with its chilling story behind its origin. Number three, Karnak Stones. The Karnak Stones stretch across the landscape of Brittany, France in eerie, deliberate rows. Almost 4,000 stones, massive, upright, and evenly spaced, line more than a mile of open land. They've stood there for over 6,000 years, and we're still no closer to understanding who placed them, or why. Unlike other megalithic formations, they don't align with the solstices, the stars, or any obvious celestial patterns. Locals passed down stories through generations. One version says the wizard Merlin turned a Roman army into stone. When Christianity spread through France, the story morphed. Now the stones were pagans frozen while fleeing Pope Cornelius. Both stories are just that. Stories. The truth remains out of reach. Their purpose, spiritual, functional, or symbolic, is still debated. But whoever placed them had a method and a reason. Without any written record, all we're left with are theories and centuries of silence. And yet, they still stand, silent witnesses to something we may never fully understand. Number 2. Archimedes Screw The Archimedes Screw is widely credited to the ancient Greek genius Archimedes, but the truth is more complicated. While Archimedes documented the device around 234 BCE, he didn't invent it. According to records from his time, he saw it in use while visiting Egypt, and locals told him it had existed for generations. Its original inventor's name is long lost, but the impact of the tool remains. The Archimedes screw is the earliest known water lifting device, capable of raising water for irrigation, drainage, or even drinking. In fact, some believe a version of it was part of the complex water system feeding the hanging gardens of Babylon. There's also mention of similar technology under Assyrian king Sennacherib, 500 years before Archimedes was even born. Regardless of origin, it's a masterpiece of practical engineering. And despite being thousands of years old, the design is still in use across the world today, from farms to flood zones, unchanged and still effective. What do you think about it? Well, drop your theory below. Number 1. Puccio Water System Peru is filled with jaw-dropping ancient innovations, but Puccio stands out for its sheer functionality. Located in the Nazca region, this spiraling water system is believed to have been constructed by the same people who made the Nazca lines. From above, it looks almost artistic, spiral depressions dug into the earth. But this was pure engineering. These surface spirals connect to underground aqueducts and reservoirs, creating a smart hydraulic system that provides water even during the brutal dry seasons. And this wasn't a short dry spell. Some lasted over a year. Early archaeologists wrongly assumed the system was built by Spanish colonizers because they couldn't fathom that indigenous civilizations could have created something so advanced. That assumption wasn't just incorrect. It was rooted in prejudice. The truth is, the Nazca people designed it, built it, and relied on it long before European contact. The Spanish used the system, yes, but they didn't invent it. Credit belongs where it's long overdue. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you soon.